Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to Jerica's Infusion, where we infuse the sheer joy of creativity and innovation into our everyday meals. Ooh, today, we are making this party pleasing Nigerian fried pig fish. Friends, this is so quick, easy, spicy, and it's bound to be a winner on your Christmas party buffet table. <laughs> Come along with me to my kitchen. Let's do it. friends the first ingredient is our hick fish <laughs> i bought mine frozen so i brought it out let it tour at room so it got to room temperature i've washed it and squeezed out the water yes squeeze it out squeeze it out i'm seasoning with some fish seasoning use whatever seasoning of your choice you have available okay just put them together and it's just it's just going to be fine so i went in with some dried cayenne pepper some curry powder and of course i added a uh, some soya spice now this is really really optional i tell you i just have all the spices and i was like why not play around with it i added some um seasoning powder and i'm going in with some basil leaves just to give it some of that aroma so, and then i am going to go in with some oregano dried basil and dried oregano leaves okay so i went in with some ginger powder and we are going to go ahead and rub all our seasoning until it is well coated and and the fish on the fish <laughs> okay what am i saying so we're just gonna rub all of that together until every single piece is coated with our marinade so next i am going to prepare now i have all those peppers left over from christmas and instead of throwing them away i just kept them in the refrigerator and we're going to just blend that so i got some bell peppers some scotch bonnet peppers some onions which i chopped off for some kebabs and of course some bell yellow bell peppers so i just bell blended all of that together and we're going to go ahead and fry our sauce while we leave our fish to marinate now the fish is marinating at room temperature because we do not want it to put we do not want to put it in the fridge and then take it out and have it cool our oil okay now that's not what we want okay you can leave it to marinate for longer but trust me it's still fantastic this way i got some onions added some oil to a pan and then sauteed my onions and now i'm adding my roughly blended peppers it's a very quick easy sauce and i tell you it's so so delicious and i'm going to season with some salt and seasoning cubes it's that simple <laughs> so i added a little bit of my extra fish sauce uh, spice to that and then i'm going in with some onion powder oh did i forget to tell you this um pepper sauce smells absolutely delicious it smells so amazing <laughs> oh you're gonna love it i went in with some curry powder and we're just gonna let that fry up a bit okay so i measured out about two cups of all-purpose flour into a bowl and i am adding some seasoning cubes some seasoning powder and to that i'm going in with my basil leaves and i use a little bit of garlic salt now we're going to mix all of that together this is completely optional but we do want our flour to be bland okay yes i know the fish is well seasoned but we do not want a bland flour we want everything balanced not too salty but just right so we're going to coat every single piece of our hick fish and set aside meanwhile while i was doing this my oil is on fire heating up Auntie. 
to look at all those beautiful pieces of fish. So we just want to drop season our oil with some bay leaves and some scotch bonnet peppers. Once your oil is hot, you do not want it piping hot and you do not want it lukewarm as well. So we're going to go ahead and just drop all our fish into the oil. <laughs> Fry it into two batches, three batches, depending on the size of your pan. And I tell you friends, everywhere is smelling so good at this moment. Ooh, I'm just loving that. This fish actually keeps together very well if you get it right. It doesn't break apart. It's just so easy to fry, making it a fantastic party option. And I tell you, your guests, your friends, your family will be wowed with this recipe. It actually tastes a little bit like chicken. It has this texture of a chicken. That's what I love about the cake fish, okay? So after frying for about 10 minutes on one side, we want to flip over to the next side. So be careful to move it around gently. In as much as the fish keeps very well, we need to still exercise caution. Don't be like me. You don't have to use this <laughs> skewer to pull your fish apart. Ah, okay, I just find it sort of easy. Use whatever makes it easy for you and will help the fish not to break apart. So we're going to let this fry for another 10 to 15 minutes on the other side until it is nice and crispy. You can fry it for longer if you really want it to be crispy on the outside. But this is just fine and okay with me. Just look at that. Ooh. Yes, we're going to enjoy this with some plantain as well. I got some jollof rice cooking in the background. Ooh, yes, it's going to be a complete dinner. So I scoop my fish out and you want to drain that on a paper towel. Keep watching, there is more coming. If you're new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome to you. Thank you for stopping by. And I would like to invite you to join this family, be a part of this family by hitting on that subscribe button. Yes, <laughs> this is where to be. Yes, here in this family, we never run out of ideas in our kitchen. And Jerkers and Fusion is going to make you fall in love with cooking. I'm going to make it fun for you. I promise. To my old subscribers, returning viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to fry our next batch and we are going to look at that crispy golden brown. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> I'm loving this fish. As I'm voicing this video, I actually feel like eating it again right now. So we're going to go ahead and plate our fish. Please include this recipe in your next party. Yes. Oh, you want to cook something up for your colleagues in the office? Include this fish. It's so inexpensive. It's a cheap fish, but it's so, so delicious. Look at that. Beautiful. So we're plating our fish right now to set on the table and we are going to add the pepper mix sauce on each and every one. You don't have to coat everything with it for easy handling. So we're just going to plate it beautifully on the fish and we will garnish to make it look beautiful with some um, red and green chilies. Ooh, just look at that. Gorgeousness. <laughs> awesomeness i hope you give this recipe a try for your friends your family wow them with it let me know in the comment section what you think about this thank you friends and family for always stopping by see you in my next video which will be anytime soon